Hi, and welcome to the digital job site, where the lumber is straight, the weather is great, and there really is a board stretcher. This tutorial is to introduce some of the features of SketchUp, and we're going to do that by modeling some 2x4s. Uh, to clear this up, I'm going to actually just hide this little sign here, and then by using the line tool, and entering measurements into the box in the right hand corner which is called the value control box or VCB we're going to draw a rectangle to represent the end of a 2x4 so I've got a line drawn going in the blue axis direction which is vertical enter a value of 1.5 uh, inches and it's a little easier to enter the dimensions as decimals and uh, rather than entering them in fractions, but you can do it either way. Uh, I'm going to draw a line in the horizontal direction, going in the red direction, which on this screen is to the right. I'm going to make that 3.5 inches. And then to draw the other two sides of this rectangle for the end of our 2x4, if I hover over this end point, the program picks up that I want to infer from that point and you see a red dotted line at the end of my blue line. So if I click there and click over, now I've created a rectangular face that's three and a half inches by one and a half inches. And to expand this into a two by four, we grab our digital board stretcher and pull our two by four going in the green direction. And I'm going to enter a value of 10 feet there. So now, just like that, we've created a 2x4 that's 10 feet long. And on my computer, I'm using the scroll wheel, pushing down on the scroll wheel and swiveling, and that gives the function of this orbit tool. It gives you a 3D perspective of your model. So at this point, because we're going to create a number of these boards, uh, I'm going to make this into a component and call it a 2x4, 10 feet long. So I've double clicked uh, the uh, 2x4, which selects all the surfaces and edges. I right click that, select make a component, and now I'm going to enter on the keyboard 2x4x10 and create a component. Uh, because I was practicing with this modeling software, there was already another component with the same name, but I'm going to replace it with this one. Um, now that we've created a component, some of the neat features are that we can take this component and copy it and paste another one. Now we have an identical component. And this one I want to be different. And so we're going to edit this component actually let's make this component unique and double click to enter into the component mode take our little board stretcher here pull it up two feet and now just like that we've made a 10 foot 2 by 4 12 feet long I'm going to take this component and explode it and then make it into a new component. And this one will be a 2 by 4 by 12 feet. And with that component, this is where the simple part comes in. We're going to select the Move tool, which is also, I call it the digital grunt, because it's going to take these parts and get me more of them. In this case, I want to make 10 2x4s instead of 1. So I've taken the Move tool. By tapping the Control key, I zoom in and move this component 3.5 inches. And I want to do that 9 times. So now I type into the value control box 9x, which will multiply that. Now we take the Zoom Extents tool, and you can see that I've created 10 uh, copies of our 12 foot 2x4. Another feature of this which 
becomes very beneficial in the program is to take a component and we can edit this component and select a material. I'm going to pick a material that's in the model, which is this 2x4 color. And I can change one of these components or if I go in and select all the surfaces of the component and color them, it, cr it colors the whole, all the replications of that component. That's a pretty handy feature. So, uh, and now we're going to select this group of 2x4s. And if you drag with the mouse from left to right, it'll select only complete objects inside the square or rectangle that you drag and click. If you drag from the right to the left, it'll select everything that the dotted square touches. So you can see the difference uh, depending on what you want to select. But I want to copy this whole stack of, or this whole layer of 2x4s. So we're going to grab the whole bunch of them. And in SketchUp, you'll quickly learn that how you grab and where you grab parts uh, greatly benefits in moving them to a place you want to. We're just going to make a s stack of 2x12s. I'll we'll hit the control button which will copy and replicate these. And I've moved these up and back this time and then I'm going to hit the 9x once again for this function and that creates 100 12 foot 2x4s just like that. And if we go to another feature here called the, um, excuse me, the outliner, and look for the group, which is our sign, and unhide it, we get our digital sign back. Move the group. This is what our digital job site is starting to look like. We'll turn on the shadow feature, which shows what uh, sunlight will do to uh, to your model. And there you have it. We've created a bunch of 2x4s with digital tools. Never even broke a sweat. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and look forward to showing you more features on future blogs.